this might be it. There's so many. Going into this fight, half of our company is wounded to the point where they can't even fight anymore. If we get wiped and Beep does get eaten alive here, the series is over. Our Inquisitors are still up though. And the High Paladin is, the High Paladin just lost his left arm. We might actually have a robotics arm for him. No, we have the three right ones. Beep, you gotta have one for him. And Beep has a right one as well. Wait, both of Beep's arms are gone. <laughs> this is brutal. The High Paladin does have this Garless Katana, so he will use that instead of this Combat Cleaver. The reason being is weapons that fill the weapon one slot are considered two-handers, but weapons in the weapon two slot can be used with one hand and only the right hand. If your right arm's gone, however, they won't use any weapons because apparently everyone in Kenshi is right-handed. We also brought some building supplies and I I wasn't planning on using any of them until we got closer to the throne, but we need to set up some kind of perimeter right now. The plan for now is we're going to make a makeshift base and wall ourselves in just so that everyone can recoup and heal. Okay, well Nomad 17 is about to get overrun by spiders. We're going to have Horse try to pick him up. Oh man, get out. Get out of there. And then Nomad 8 needs to pick up Nomad 10. And Inquisitor 2 needs to save the Bone Dog. Oh, run. We did make this base secure, but I'm pretty sure we don't have enough building materials to make an outer layer. Yeah, I think we only have 13 extra, but what we can do is try to make this base a bit more defensible with what we have. We need to build a wall going outwards like so, and then we need to wall off this side as well. I don't think they can get in from this side, but we need to finish building these harpoons, so I think we're going to have everyone focus on that. I think we'll have String Man it. He's got really good perception. No, who opened the door? It's not even low. <laughs> Why would somebody open the door? We're getting sabotaged. The bug man has someone on the inside. Looks like they're staying on the download now because I'm onto them. Green was manning this turret and somehow he got knocked unconscious. Now, there's no other harpooner nearby and the skin spiders have no range. The only possible option is string hit him, but how can string hit him? He's literally on the opposite side of the gate. Like he must have missed so badly. Oh, maybe it was this spider that came from behind. That must have been it. But how did that spider get in? Wait, what is this spider doing up here? Maybe this is the spider that's conspiring against us. The fact there's all these bodies here is actually creating so much lag. So we'll plop a corpse furnace outside. Basically they'll automatically start picking up the spiders that are full dead and they'll put them in the corpse furnace. I don't think it'll throw away the ones that are dying. They wouldn't automatically haul the dead spiders to the corpse furnace if it was outside. All right, there we go. It's actually working this time. Looks like a lot of this trash is gonna be cleared up in no time. So our base has been holding up really well. We put three double barrel turrets over here and two double barrel turrets over here. As far as injury report, we got the I've fallen and I can't get up squad led by fall. We've got Beep who somehow lost both of his arms and both of his legs through all that. And we got a fair bit of other units in dire need of prosthetic limbs. We sent Kabu back to Mongrel and he bought some robotic limbs the old fashioned way. But the good ones are really expensive and we need them now. So we're just going to pick into the safe, jack all of these. And there's actually three crates sitting by the door with relatively high quality limbs. And this guy probably does hate us now, but that's just a fact that we're going to have to live with. For some reason, Beep took the most punishment out of everyone from the spiders. Mainly due to the fact that since he is a hive prince, his limbs have such low HP. But many of our other companions do have a limb missing as well. And if the limbs get damaged, we want to repair the them with someone that's good at robotics. Over in Sonoris Dark, there's some really nice robots, and since they're robots, they get a bonus to robotics. And so in the zone, there's these locations called the Skin House. The robots that believe they're people, and they sure look like it. You could definitely have fooled me with their attire. Really cute guys, and I thought they'd make for a great addition to the team. They also have this machine upstairs called a Peeler Machine. I believe we can just use it. That's some fresh looking skin you have, brother. Can I have it? Your skin will look better on me. Well, maybe we can't use a Peeler Machine. These guys are actually really strong they have around 50 in all stats but we did pick up an extra inquisitor so we have four inquisitors with 75 plus stats this one's actually using a masterwork lifter arm so he's got 94 strength he's gonna be doing tons of damage with this plank better yet we'll give him the fragment axe i believe that scales better off of strength and i think we should be able to take these guys um, there is quite a lot of them though. So you can get some cleave damage in there. Oh yeah, the high paladin is cleaved. Why is this inquisitor using his one-hander? Is it because it's indoors? This one is also using his one-hander because it's indoors and the plank gets a damage penalty when it's indoors. We're gonna take this fight outside, boys. And we're gonna have Pinky and Weenie help out. 
Holy crap, there's more. Okay, wait, maybe we just back off a bit. So in this skin house, there's three buildings loaded with these guys. I know of a location where I think they're less densely populated. Next to the zone of Sonorous Dark, below the Southern Hive, there's this zone called the Cheater's Run. And there's this ruin that when you first approach it, it's called Nice Ruin. And then when you get inside and you learn the secret of what's going on, the name changes to Horrible Ruin. So they have these cute little residential huts. And inside, there is actually no peeler machine in that one. And inside of this hut there's a peeler machine these guys don't seem as aggro i wonder if we can just use their peeler machine all right so we're using the peeler machine and this dude does not seem to be enjoying it too much oh wait it just destroyed his armor but if we put this guy in it with no armor guys can you stop bandaging him i'm hoping that it will just stop at okay we got to get him out of there before we use the peeler machine we want to change dismemberment to frequent and their arms are not going unfortunately even with dismemberment on full his arms and his legs did not come off well that did not go according to plan i changed dismemberment back to rare and we won't use the peeler machine for removing their limbs we'll just let it happen organically and these skin bandits are a lot more accommodating than the other ones i do feel bad about attacking them but we need ideally six of them that we can knock out and carry back and recruit these guys actually have really bad armor it looks like or maybe no armor at all we already took that guy out we're doing 108 damage per hit to them 107. Beep is the strongest now. There will be changes. Beep is actually getting really strong. He's got 95 strength due to the fact that he's using two industrial lifter arms, which give him a 20% strength bonus each. You look like you're not doing too bad for yourselves. We're not poor if that's what you're saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. You got money and I'm the best sword you're likely to meet. Straight down to business then? Of course, life is one transaction after another. All that matters is the price. What's your price? 20k whoa then again money is not much of an issue for us anymore so we were able to farm the 120k we needed to pick them all up when they joined us they all took on a personality of their own we got r2d2 bb8 and c3po all droids from the star wars universe and then we got general grievous Darth Vader and young Anakin. I tried to tell them that Darth Vader and Anakin were the same person, but they just didn't seem to want to listen. I also found this unique hive soldier drone wandering around our base, and the dude has 78 attacks, so he's pretty solid. I named him Venti, it just seemed like the right name. And quick equipment update, we're using these ring sabers. They have really high cutting damage and relatively low blunt damage, and if a weapon has high cutting damage and low blunt damage, it will level up decks quicker. So we're doing that with a lot of our lower tier units, but with our inquisitors, we're just giving them these fragment axes our blacksmiths are really good now and we've been pumping out these model edge type ones so they're gonna be doing tons of damage and with that we're gonna press on towards the throne of the bug master and so at the top we got some blood spiders and some skin spiders nothing that we can't handle and inside there's a lot of them and the only casualty from that was cornelius and upstairs there's literally nothing except for the bug master dude's got 95 strength dex and toughness and 103 defense a nomad hit him for 25 that's pretty good 51 okay we might have over prepared for this fight a bit his chest is really low he's gonna go down oh there he goes for Lou. he's got this foreign saber model me too that is a really good weapon 2.6 cutting damage is really high i don't think you can craft me too weapons i think you have to find them let's see what's in his chest that is a lot of human teeth and then he's got Bugmaster's map it shows this town on the map named ominous place I think we'll go check that out next. Before we do that though, we're going to see if the bug master will join us. So I've been talking to this guy for a while and he won't join us. But I found this thread where someone said you needed to have a mega raptor horn in your inventory. Now I think about it, it's pretty obvious that I would just have to put a mega raptor horn in the bug master's inventory for me to be able to recruit him. I mean, he is the bug master and the mega raptor is obviously just a giant bug. All right, well, we're at the mega raptor nest. I don't see a mega raptor anywhere. Yeah, I see it. Uh, it's literally in the water. This thing has 1k HP on all of its limbs. Its swimming speed is 22 miles per hour. That's insane. Our top swimmers are around like seven to eight miles per hour. I don't know how we're gonna be able to get this thing to attack us. I think it might be glitched. Like all this loot fell through. That's really odd. Maybe I can reload. All right, so my second idea is Green has a crossbow with really long range. I think he might be able to hit it. Oh, he shot at it. Can't tell if it's trying to move or what, but he hit it in the foreleg. I'm busy swimming. Oh God. There's a little ledge up here. Maybe we can get green on that. There we go. Can you shoot at it from there? He hit it. And this guy's actually going down really fast. Relatively speaking, I guess he has no armor. All right, well, we got a Mega Raptor horn. We actually got 10 of them. All right, well, I don't know how many horns the Mega Raptor he needs, but we'll put two in his inventory and we'll put one in mine and we'll touch our horns together. Snarl, click, click, 
the Bugmaster eyes you warily. The creature looks at you in surprise. Squargle. That dialogue was not there before. He gestures towards the Megaraptor horn you carry. Take out the horn and show it to him. Squaw. The man jumps up excitedly, then falls to his knees. Reach out your hand, palm up. Reach out your hand, palm down. It's obviously palm up. The man backs away fearfully. Hiss. Okay, well, that didn't work. All right, palm down this time. The man backs away fearfully. Hiss. Click, click. The man raises his head under your palm. Raise the bug master to his feet. Join your squad. All right, well, we got him to join us. He's got 95 in pretty much all of his attributes and weapon skills in combat. So our party right now is looking really stacked. And we're out at the Western Hive. This is the Western Hive Queen's village. And we're going to try to take it over. So this main hut is the one with the queen in it. There's some royal soldier drones, which have around 50 stats. And then we got the queen who is absolutely beautiful. And she looks like a robot but her HP is really low. It's only 75 and her stats are not the best. She went down in one hit. Queen has no loot on her and the Royal Soldier Drones have basically nothing. But there is a lot of loot in here. I am just really stacked right now so I don't really need any of it. They sent everyone out to try to save the Queen but in the end there was nothing they could do. Well we conquered the Western Hive. That was very easy. And so Beep married the Queen against her will and they had a bunch of little Hive babies together. The end. In the United States town of Heft, their leader apparently tramples farm peasants. He eyes you up and down too lazy even to move his neck oh thank the moons you've arrived now all of times outlander a new hero is exactly what my empire needs i have a favor of you swordsmen an ancient grieve wrath plagues our lands it kills our cattle terrorizes our people but someone like you will be able to track it down with that sword of yours you'll be able to kill it once and for all i'll reward you well for this hero status treasure slaves you name it okay first you'll have to find clunknad spanner the skeleton wizard You'll find him to the south in a tower over the mountain pass. He'll brew you the elixir of godly powers that will help you defeat the grief wrath. Here, bring my seal to him so that he knows I sent you. He pulls out a small sack. What's in the sack? It contains the half-chewed stone of a green fruit. He starts shaking uncontrollably, making choking sounds and slapping his thighs. <laughs> We give you gold, hero. We believe in you, hero. All right, well, Beep is not going to be disrespected like that. I don't think that guy knows who Beep is. Conqueror of the Bugmaster in the Western Hive. And while we're building a new outpost outside of Heft, we're visited by the tax man. Time to pay up this week's contributions. You set up shop on Empire land, you pay Empire taxes. Yeah, that's not happening. Then you can expect a visit from our tax enforcement unit very soon. I'll be back, I promise you that. We built this base pretty close to Heft, and we put some turrets on top of this tower. But they haven't really sent anyone to attack us, so we're just going to bring the fight to them okay it looks like they are actually attacking us and they got a huge army a lot of these guys are actually conscripts which are pretty weak we're cleaving through them pretty hard yeah they didn't really put up much of a fight since we built an outpost near the city we can actually build really close now so now we have three turrets pointed directly at their gate and this building is actually pretty cool we can lock this door and they can't get up until they smash the door it has 50 hp whereas the crappy walls we were building had 30 hp part of me is thinking though that since we're so strong i think we can just attack the emperor in the main building he has a samurai captain a couple of yonin elites which have around 80 attack this one has 90 and then upstairs we got a few samurai elites and samurai captains i want to say around four of each and the elites have around 80 stats the captains have around 70 i want to see how far the bug master can go solo oh the cleave he's actually taking damage okay well no more solo and through all the madness emperor tangu went down he has a me too katana and it looks like beep is now the new leader of the united cities who's laughing now emperor tangu if you only knew the power of the dark what's he doing i was gonna try to recruit that guy just to see if i could and then darth vader comes out of nowhere and kills him he's really doing a number on that leg it's at negative 6k so beep got sick of the western hive queen and the bug master agreed to help him find a new lady at the southern hive there's the queen of the south and she's guarded by these elite drone guards which have around 90 attack all right so the plan is beep's gonna run in here and try to distract get everyone to leave the queen i mean he did pull a few of them away but there's still a bunch i think the bug master can one shot the queen though so if he just gets one good hit on her, her right leg's down, but that didn't take her out. Oh, she's down. Okay, he's just got to pick her up. 
All right, run. Back at the main base, the Southern Hive sent a task force to retrieve the queen. They got a bunch of princes and drone guards, which aren't the best. But then they got these war gorillas, which are really tanky. And they have around 75 attack. Looks like all their war gorillas appear to be glitched. So they're just sending in like their drone guards, which aren't all that strong. And we got a Holy Nation attack as well coming in. The Holy Nation don't like the hive either. So it's like a free for all. Dr. Chung is dead. Oh no, that was our best medic. And he was our cook. Dr. Chung was so many things. Can we get an F in the chat for Dr. Chung? And we're going to have to manually aggro the gorillas in because they got glitched on the wall. Oh, the gorillas are getting pelted with arrows. They have a lot of HP, but they don't really have any armor. So that one got taken out really quickly. We then moved on towards the Holy Nation town of Blister Hill. And their king resides in here. We're just going to try to run by all their guards. The main thing is we just have to fight inside because they do have turrets. Well, we need freaking screwed. But he's taking on like six Holy Sentinels. What a beast. We got Protectors of the Flame with 90 attack, 90 defense. The Bugmaster is taking on Holy Lord Phoenix. He's almost got him. His stomach's down to 10. Oh, there he goes. Holy Lord Phoenix's Paladin's Cross is a Me Too weapon. That thing's actually insane. All right, well, we did manage to take out their leader and we cleared out all of the Holy Nation for the most part. We completely cleared out this barracks. We do have some people knocked unconscious still. And we also cleared out their other one. When you do capture the Queen of the South, the King is supposed to lead an assault on your base. And the King is this giant monster robot thing that has insane amounts of HP HP and damage. Not only is he not attacking us, I think he despawned and I can't find him anywhere. I imported my save into a new game though and the Queen of the South is back where she should be. Alright, so I built an outpost near the Southern Hive. This was the only place in pretty much the whole zone I could build it. That being said, the base looks really weird. This mountain back here is blocking so they can't get in from behind. And over here is the entrance. They go in. When they start hitting the gate, they're going to get pounded by seven turret gunners. And to make sure the turret gunners don't shoot each other, I built this blind so the enemies have to come in from this side because if the enemies were to come in from this side these guys in the back could potentially miss and hit the gunners to the left it looks like we got some test dummies trying to break our wall down they did not get very far this is our main target the king he's got 450 hp in his legs 750 in his arms 900 in his stomach and 1200 in his head and his attack strength dex and toughness are insanely high i'm pretty sure this is the strongest enemy in the game whoa he stood up He's not messing around. They're actually doing damage to him, which is good. I thought maybe because his toughness was so high that they wouldn't be able to hit him. And holy crap, they're actually melting him. Just to put this into perspective, I tried to kill him earlier. Like I just charged everyone at him and he just completely destroyed us. But it looks like he's not even smart enough to hit the gate and he's just taking those arrows and there we go he's down and he's got four armor plating four cpu units and four robotics components i'm kind of surprised he didn't have any ai cores on him as he is like a late game boss and these things are pretty useless well we started out as a slave of the holy nation we took out their leader we found beep and outcast of the hive we helped him exterminate the western and the southern hive and he is now the ruler of the lands that's gonna be it for this kenshi playthrough there are some things that i didn't explore but for the most part i did everything that i set out to do i do have an idea for another playthrough but that's gonna have to wait till they update the game which i don't know if they're ever going to they made a new post last month saying they're going to be working on another game and they're only going to be doing bug fixes from now on which personally i think is a mistake i think there is a lot of end game content they could add to the game like the ability to take over towns i've seen a lot of people wanting that one where you can actually take over towns and they belong to you but that being said hopefully they're working on like a kenshi 2 with like a new engine i think kenshi with a more modern engine would would be really cool. I believe my next video will be a Civilization 6 video, but I'll be experimenting with a lot of different types of videos in the upcoming weeks. If you guys do like a certain style of video, just remember to drop a like. That combined with view count helps me to know what's working and what's not. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.